Hi, I'm Emma and I'm just going to briefly outline our paper, Students' Perceptions of Bullying in UK Higher Education. We asked 40 students in four online focus groups and one physical focus group questions about bullying at university, such as how would you define bullying at university? Who is involved in the bullying? What do you do if you see it happen? Using the thematic analysis method, we interpreted the following themes from the data. One, a power imbalance, which involves social groups and status in a social hierarchy. I think bullying comes mainly from majority groups towards minority groups in higher education. It's always the one doing the bullying who is popular, and they rally support from unconfident people who they allow into their group. Two, methods such as verbal and jokes. A racist joke sometimes can be a type of bullying. You never know if they are actually being funny or they are just using a funny way to hide their bullying. Sexual harassment. I'd say 90% of my female friends have experience of men in clubs groping them and maybe 40 to 50% of my male friends. Cyber and online bullying. Active exclusion and isolating and controlling and playing mind games. Three, the objective of bullying. It's intentional and goal-directed for social or personal gain. People like the validation of others and joking around, teasing and singling somebody out as an easy way of bonding with others at the expense of the one they are making fun of. And four, justification and minimisation for involvement in bullying. I don't think the issue needs intervention because most of the time the victim of bullying has the maturity to walk away or confront the bully at this stage in life. I don't really know what I would do or how you should react. Before, I probably wouldn't get involved, but today I'm much more mature and confident in myself and would try to stop it. So in summary, our study has made progress in providing an understanding of bullying within the HE context. 